There are so many of us that don't recognize the blessings of God in our lives and we don't recognize when it is that we are standing in a blessing and standing in front of an open door that God has opened for us. And the reason is because we often have an idea of what the blessing should look like. So we think that if God is blessing us or if God is opening a door before us, that means that the path has to be clear, that it has to look easy, that it has to look like a blessing. You know, it has to look easy. It has to look good. It has to look clear. It has to be simple. But what I'm learning is that that is not the case. A lot of times that's not the case at all. God could be opening a door for you or could have opened a door for you. God could have put you in your place of blessing and there still be difficulty. There still be battles going on that you have to face. Go read the Old Testament and read about the children of Israel. God had promised them the land of Canaan as their own, the land flowing with milk and honey that he was going to give to them. But what did they have to do to acquire the blessing that God had given them? They had to go into the land and fight and take possession of the land from the other nations in the land. They had to fight battles, giants, different nations in order to possess the blessing that God had given them. Sometimes you're going to have to fight to possess the blessing and to walk through the open door that God has for you. It won't be easy. And I'll just give you an example. Let's say you want to go to a university on a study, right? Let's say that God has been gracious enough to put you in the city that you want to study in or near the university that you want to go to. Do you think that you're just going to walk into the university and study there? No, you're going to have to make an application. You're going to have to get your documents in order. You're going to have to get your recommendation letters in order. You're going to have to get all the things that you need to get. And then you're going to have to apply. You're going to have to walk through the open door. You want to get a job again, make the application, do what you need to do. Get the documents in order, walk through the open door and then pray and have faith. And I'm not saying there aren't moments where you should just wait because there are times where God will actually just tell you to wait um, and not to make any moves. But this is where having a relationship with the Holy Spirit comes in handy because you need to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit such that you know when is it time for me to wait and not make any moves and when is it time for me to go and possess the land. There was a period where the children of Israel were in the wilderness and it wasn't time for them to go possess the land. But at some point, God told Joshua, now is the time for you to go and possess the land that I've given you. So don't focus on the negative and don't focus on what you don't have. Shift your perspective and actually begin to pray and ask God. Look around you. Look at the opportunities that are around you. It may be that God actually wants you to step out and grab hold of those opportunities that he has put and placed around you. Sometimes you're going to have to fight for the blessing. It won't just fall on your lap. So pray and seek counsel from God.